If you look at this cover, what do you think? <laughs> because personally, I thought, copy my homework, but don't make it too obvious. <laughs> this is a Western fantasy. Okay. It's just something about Westerns, like cowboy hats and like blistering heat just gives me summer vibes. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name's Leora and I talk on here about books and writing sometimes as well. Oh, and by the way, as you can see, yes, I have dyed my hair. I love it. It's sort of a strawberry blonde right now. I'm really excited about it. Today I'm doing a soft girl summer TBR slash book recommendations video. I made a reel on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram if you would like, where I shared some photos and I said like soft girl summer. And then some people in the comments suggested I do a soft girl summer book recommendations video and I actually thought that was a great idea. So this is my soft girl summer book video. It is also hot girl summer, obviously. You can be both a soft girl and a hot girl, no matter what kind of girl you are, even if you're not a girl or if you're non-binary, you can still have the hot or soft summer. <laughs> depending on what you like. So today I'm going to be talking about some books I still want to read this summer or books that I'm excited about. Some of them do kind of fit into the whole cottage core, like soft girl aesthetic and some of them do not as much but most of them are just books I would like to read this summer or books I would recommend to you to read this summer. Okay so the first book is one that is still on my TBR but I've read a little bit of it and that is Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. This book has the best cover, it's absolutely stunning. I am thinking of getting a physical copy but at the same time I want to try and buy less books and just like read the books I own but this is what I'm really excited about and I do have it on my iPad so I might still read it. So this is about a romance author, that is all I know. Like I read in the first chapters that she's a romance author and she has this really famous series and I think it's quite smutty and that one is doing really well and that is sort of defining her as a person but that is not what she wants for her future. She also has a daughter, she's raising her and I think she's not been super lucky in romance recently and she's like struggling a bit with her career. The things I've read about this book so far have been really positive. Lots of people adore this book. The chapters I've read were extremely funny. I was having a great time, but I just read a lot of romance and I know this has romance, so I didn't want to go into it immediately because I knew I wasn't in the perfect mood for it. Like there might be times where I would enjoy this book even more. So I've put it off for a while, but I will definitely get back to it when I'm in the romance mood because this book sounded so good and I think it's going to be a lovely story. And the opening sentence is the funniest thing I've ever read. It is really very funny and that is also how I got to this book because my best friend sent me a TikTok of that opening sentence and she was like, you need to read this because this sounds like something you would find very funny. So yes, really great. Can't wait to pick this one up. Okay, the next book is one that is on my TBR. I found this one on a book market I visited recently. This is Tangerine by Christine Mangan. I haven't heard anybody talk about this ever but the cover just really spoke to me and I was looking for like more summer reads because a lot of the books I read don't have like summer vibes so that is why I picked this one up. So it says the last person Ellis Shipley expected to see when she arrived in Tangier with her new husband was Lucy Mason. After the horrific accident at Bennington the two friends, once inseparable roommates, haven't spoken in over a year but Lucy is standing there trying to make things right. Perhaps Alice should be happy. She has not adjusted to life in Morocco, too afraid to venture out into the bustling Medinas and oppressive heat. Lucy, always fearless and independent, helps Alice emerge from her flat and explore the country. But soon, a familiar feeling starts to overtake Alice. She feels controlled and stifled by Lucy at every turn. Then, Alice's husband, John, goes missing, and Alice starts to question everything around her. Her relationship with her enigmatic friend, the decision to come to Tangier and her very own state of mind. Okay, this sounds like it is sort of a crime novel, but also a novel about toxic friendships. And it's also set like in Morocco and like on holiday. Not sure what's going to go down, but it sounded really interesting to me. I don't have super high hopes for this since I haven't heard anybody talk about this. And the Goodreads reviews also weren't like overwhelmingly hyped about it but I think it will be a fun read to read during the summer and still the cover is very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> okay then for recommendations of course I had to recommend the Taylor Jenkins Reid summer reading list because both of these are by one of my favourite authors Taylor Jenkins Reid and both of them have summer vibes according to me. So first we have Daisy Jones and the Six. I think most of you, if you've been on booktube for a while, you know these books, but I'll still talk about them because I'm really excited about them. And I think these are both wonderful summer reads. So this is not my favorite Taylor Jenkins read novel ever, but it is a book that is really great for the summer. So this is sort of a fictional interview with a very famous band, a fictional band. It doesn't really exist. So Daisy Jones and the Six is sort of Fleetwood Mac. That is what it is compared to most. And that is also what I feel like it is. And if we're into 70s music, then I would highly recommend this as well because it's like 
big on the music scene and stuff like that and has amazing 70s vibes and I love the 70s I love like the aesthetic this is basically one big interview with all the band members and like the things they went through in their career and their lives and it's very you really need to get used to the writing style because like I said it's all written in interview form I've also heard that the audiobook is absolutely spectacular because it's a full cast audiobook so I really want to try that one as well one day when I reread it and then Malibu Rising this is about a family of surfers and their famous father that sort of abandoned them and their mother and her journey in life and about the older sister and sort of her learning to have faith in the world and sort of take care of herself first so good so 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 good the sibling dynamics in this are really interesting it all leads up to a big summer beach party which is also really nice there's lots of summer vibes lots of surfing lots of beach scenes so yeah would highly recommend i loved it it got a bit jumbled at the end but I'm biased, you know, because I just adore Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing because she's so good at making, like, characters that feel really real and, like, flawed and with struggles, but they feel just, like, as if they are real people. And she definitely did it again in this book, but I understand why some people don't like it as much, but I adored it. Then the next read on my TBR is Heart of Ink by Cornelia Funk. I have the Dutch copy, which is called Heart von Inks, so I think the English title is of ink but i'm not sure maybe it's not so this is a story i read as a child i also found this on the book market and i've been in a big middle grade mood recently so i thought it would be really fun to reread this because i adored it as a child so this is about maggie and she's super into stories and reading but she's never allowed to be read to because her father just doesn't read to her and they also travel a lot so there's some suspicious things going on i think her father has like magical powers maybe and maggie's mother has disappeared when she was very young so i think they're gonna like go into books and travel within stories i think that is like somewhere in my mind but maybe i'm wrong i don't know i don't want to know either because i want to go in blind and see like if i still remember things from childhood so i adored these books back then and i'm excited to pick it up again then a book i would recommend to you guys is the good luck girls by charlotte nicole Davis haven't heard a whole lot of people talk about this even though it's absolutely amazing this is a western fantasy okay so if anything like what else screams summer aside from a western fantasy I don't know it's just something about westerns like cowboy hats and like blistering heat just gives me summer vibes not even sure if this is set in summer but it is a western story so it is about a bunch of girls that are sort of in a brothel and they are really struggling in life because they've been put there, they are branded, they cannot leave and they live in this fantasy world that is filled with ghosts and so there's like danger at every corner and then it is about a bunch of sisters and like their found family, their other, um, the other women in the brothel and they escape after one of them has accidentally murdered a customer and then they go on this wild sort of journey and road trip throughout the country but it's a western so they come to saloons and they go into fights and there's like lots of action and there's lots of ghosts and it's a very interesting fantasy setting and i really enjoyed it i love the sisterly dynamics but also the found family aspect of this and it's also got some queer characters and i just thought it was a wonderful story and i really liked it then next up of course i have to recommend if i'm doing soft girl summer books i have to recommend the tea dragon society because if anything is the most cottage core ever it is the Tea Dragon Society. These graphic novels are so cute. They are written by Kay O'Neill. They're absolutely amazing. And they are basically about these dragons who have like leaves growing on them and you can brew tea off of them. And then it's like every one of these graphic novels is like a small story about a community that has interaction with tea dragons and like a little story. And it's like filled with countryside and markets and sunshine and beautiful illustrations. And it's very cute and cozy and it moves with the seasons. So this one is split up into summer, spring, autumn and winter and it's really great i love it another book on my tbr is songs in ursa major by emma brody <laughs> if you look at this cover what do you think because personally i thought copy my homework but don't make it too obvious <laughs> i don't want to be rude and i'm sure this is a wonderful read i'm really interested in reading this because it looks so similar to daisy jones and six and i've heard people say that it is very similar and like i've said a thousand times before i want to do a themed video where i use this book and some other ones as well so that is why it's still my tbr and i think it would also be a great read for the summer i think this is also about a band and road trips and like traveling on the road touring stuff like that not sure what the other like plot of this is but i will get into it and i hope i will like it another book recommendation i have is the summer of everything by julian winters it's been a really long time since i read this book so there's lots of things I don't remember, but what I do remember is the friendship dynamics in this book and like the friend group and how nice and fun that was to read about and also the summer vibes and that all of them are working in a bookstore. And I think they are trying to get the bookstore to be saved from going bankrupt. 
So that is what I remember. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I remember deep inside my mind. I think I read this in 2020. Loved it. Wonderful summer vibes. If you want to read like a short, fluffy YA romance about a summer job and friendship, and I think it's also queer and like working in a bookstore. I think if you want all of those things, then this would be wonderful because it's definitely very fluffy and cute. And then the last book on this list is one that is also still on my TBR and that is Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. This, I've not heard a lot of people talk about it. I think I've seen Ellie talk about it. And Ellie is really excited about this book. It's like her favorite thing. So I want to read it as well. I don't know a whole lot about this book, but the full title is Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge and the Teaching of Plants. So it sounds like there's a lot of nature elements in this. And that is what I've heard before as well, that that is really connected to nature and like how beautiful it is and stuff like that. And that is not something I typically read, but it is something I'm interested in and it sounds really good. So it says, as a botanist, Robin Wall Kimmerer has been trained to ask questions of nature with the tools of science. That sounds really cool because I love a good science book. So interesting. As a member of the citizen Potawatomi nation, she embraces the notion that plants and animals are our oldest teachers. So what it sounds like to me is that this is going to be like sort of an activist novel but then through the lens of nature and how we can like improve society and the way we live looking at nature and how everything works in nature in a beautiful way that is what i grasp of it and that is what i like think it will be going in but maybe it will be really different i don't know the people that i have seen talk about this book absolutely adore it and i would love to read a book about nature and like adoring nature and appreciating nature i've said the word nature so many times it's starting to lose its meaning but yeah so this is on my tbr and i'm really excited to see whether i like it so those were all the books i would recommend for this summer and also some of the books on my summer tbr as we know I'm not the best with TBR, so these are just books that I'm interested in reading, but like I'm making no promises whatsoever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you still want to read in the summer. And yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the best day and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!